right, so today we're going to be making a soap. It goes really fast, so I wanted to do this intro so I could explain to you so I wouldn't have to spend so much time while I'm making the soap. And this one is a shampoo bar. It is cleansing enough to be a shampoo, yet it is also gentle enough that you could use it all over. And I wanted to go over some of the um, oils and the essential oils that are gonna be in there and why um, I'm using them in this soap. Um, it is a soap that I kind of developed for my own hair, my own family's hair. Most of us have um, curly, fine hair, um, and we have a lot of um, shedding loss. It's just like a genetic thing that we've had to deal with. That is why I developed it. It is for um, fine curly hair, but it's pretty much good for all hair. Um, it has benefits for um, just your scalp and your hair in general. Um, but we do, it is this, the base oils we're going to be using, uh, my regular base oils um, with a higher concentration of um, coconut oil that's in my regular bar, which makes it slightly more cleansing. Um, and then we have Takuma Takuma Butter, um, which gives your hair like this silicone gloss um, because it has um, antioxidant property. It also can restore elasticity to curls. So that's one of the reasons why I like to use it. And it's very emollient. So that's what the, the silicone um, glossy feel is from it being emollient. It also has a lot of fatty acids, um, which are used to treat dry, frizzy hair which living in Florida, frizzy hair is like definite that you're going to have frizzy hair, except for usually in the winter, but it's been kind of humid because we've also had rain at the same time. So even in the winter time, it's um, not unusual for my hair and most people who have curly hair's hair to frizz because it's really the curly hair likes to suck up moisture. So um, anyway, it also has organic unrefined neem oil, which is like one of my very favorite oils to use, um, period, it, just for its amazing benefits by itself. But for the hair in particular, um, it relieves um, itchy scalp, um, it can, um, it's healing, it's antifungal, and it contains, um, it's called nimbolin, nimbidian, um, that helps suppress irritation. Um, for skin conditions, um, which helps prevent um, excessive shedding or baldness. Um, and you can also, also, for facial, we use it in our neem tea tree um, with activated charcoal, and it is just amazing benefits for um, trouble with any kind of skin irritation, things like that. It also is moisturizing for hair, and it can prevent breakage. And then we also have um, a resul clay, and um, kelp, which kelp um, actually promotes, and we're using a kelp powder, not an oil, but it's a kelp powder that's, um, it thickens your hair by encouraging the growth of the outer sheath of your hair. So um, it is also very high in nutrients that can be absorbed in the skin. And one of the reasons why I use a lot of organic oils, especially in my essential oil blend soaps that are meant to be left on the skin. So this is a shampoo, so you'd wanna leave it on your skin for like five minutes and you want all of those ingredients to be organic, not the ones that are just gonna wash off pretty quickly, um, but the essential oil-based soaps um, that you leave so that you can get those benefits from the essential oils. Um, you wanna make sure that most, everything that you're using, you are trying to be organic because our skin is our biggest organ and all of those things that are absorbed in there, um, if we're just gonna have it on there for a few seconds, not much is gonna be absorbed, but for this one, we wanna leave it on. Um, so. Also, we have avocado oil in here, which is um, good for dry hair. Um, and that's not a traditional one that's in, um, it's in my neem tea tree soap, but not in my traditional um, bars. So um, that's an extra one for this one. Um, and then we're also using shea butter in this too. For the essential oils, um, geranium is going to be your top note. Although I do use in the blend mostly, it's actually organic lavender, but um, geranium is a top note, so you're gonna smell that one first. Um, it can soften and condition your hair. It boosts shine by giving that hydration. Um, it also can balance a dry scalp and promotes hair growth and fights free radicals that can damage your hair. And it prevents drastic hair loss, which is what we've been kind of seeing personally. Um, it soothes um, irritation and um, sensitivity on your scalp. So if you have a sensitive scalp, it can help with that. Plus it has just this amazing floral scent. So it's one of my favorite essential oils in the florals anyway. 
and um, Ylang Lang. Um, it stimulates hair growth. Let's see what we're going for here. Promotes shine, very effective in the treatment of head lice. If you have um, children, you might want to remember that one. Um, it stimulates the production of natural oils in your scalp and helps to prevent split ends. And then, like I said, we have lavender essential oil, which can also prevent hair loss. It hydrates, um, soothes itchy scalp, so helps with um, any kind of flakiness, dandruff type things. And it strengthens and prevents breakage. And then, my one of my very favorite essential oils is bergamot. It is a very citrusy. Um, but it also has some amazing benefits for aromatherapy. So it's one of my personal favorites mixed with lavender and like those citrus oils um, for being calming and uplifting if you have anxiety, if you have any issues with that, which I used to previously had a, I used to have panic attacks about seven years ago that were, well for many years, but they stopped about seven years ago. And those essential oils came in handy. I still use them for anxiety because I still am played a little bit by that, but not, not the panic attacks. But these bergamot and lavender, I used to put um, that oil blend, I used it a lot. Um, but anyway, um, it increases blood flow for your hair. It increases blood flow, flow to your scalp, um, which promotes hair growth. And then um, we have um, Palmarosa essential oil, which has this lemony rose type scent. Um, and it's also very comforting and calming for an aromatherapy standpoint. It also helps to um, strengthen your hair. It makes your skin less dry, so it hydrates and it imparts shine. And then um, Roman chamomile, um, it's actually a natural antihistamine. So chamomile, if you ever have chamomile tea bags, keep those around for bug bites and things. But, that's, but for your hair in particular, Roman chamomile softens your hair. Um, it improves hair health to prevent dandruff and improve shine and it can relieve an irritated scalp because it is good for um, it's anti-inflammatory um, patchouli um, is the last one and I like to mix that with lavender and bergamot those three amazing but amazing um, from an aromatherapy standpoint to go together but um, patchouli fights dandruff. Um, it's also a natural deodorant, which is kind of is good for something that's going to be clean, cleaning your hair. Um, it also stimulates hair growth and it's hydrating. Plus, I mean, like I said, it's just really amazing for its aromatherapy benefits. All right, so just wanted to get all of that in. The soap is actually going to go really fast, so I wanted to make sure all this information got in there. Didn't want to have to make sure I was fitting it all into this really quick soap because it's just pretty simple. No swirls, just no added colorants except for the kelp powder, which is not really a colorant, but it does actually impart some color. But anyway, so all of that being said, let's go ahead and um, make some shampoo bars. Okay, so today we're making a shampoo bar. It's an all natural, mostly organic, everything I'm trying to use because this is something that's going to be on your skin for longer than just a couple of seconds because you, you want it to soak into your um, hair follicles to try to help as much as possible with the issues that we are addressing today. So we are going to be adding just a couple tablespoons of Razul clay, which is going to give us a little bit of a color, but it also has benefits. The Razul clay is a detox so it can help pull out some of those impurities out of your hair or your scalp really. And then we're also going to add a tablespoon of organic kelp, which I get from Mountain Rose Herbs, but you can also usually find that on Amazon. And the Razul Clay I get from New Directions Aromatics, which is also where I get most of my essential oils and clays and additives because they don't add they're very pure with their clays, so you can be know that there's no like oxides or anything in the clays when you're using them. So we're gonna go ahead and get this blended up. So we're just blending those into the oil so they can get good and incorporated. But I got this really cool cordless, you'll notice no cord, on my stick blender for Christmas. My husband is wonderful. He found me that and I think it's just awesome. And actually, this is the first time I've used it, so it's doing really well. So we're going to add our goat's milk and lye solution, which I'm soaping at 30%. 
a 30% water discount, or in our case, liquid, which is the goat's milk. Which somebody had asked, I actually, in order to keep my um, goat's milk from scorching, I will generally add it either, as I've done recently, I add it separately. But from the beginning, I my soaping mentor told me to use only frozen goat's milk, so that's what I do. It gets frozen directly after I milk. I freeze it into ice cube trays for making soap. At least the soap, at least the milk that we're actually going to be using for soap, anyway. It gets strained after I milk and then poured directly into ice cube trays and put in the freezer. And each of the ice cubes are usually about an ounce, which makes it really, really easy to measure as well. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our, get us mixed up here. So we're just going to go ahead and add our essential oil blend. So this one is really simple because it doesn't have um, any colorants or anything. The kelp and the razool actually, as you can see, give it some color. Also the neem oil and the essential oils themselves because geranium is kind of a yellowish oil. But predominantly my blend of this one, the um, most prevalent oil in this one is actually lavender or lavendin, an organic lavendin. We also use organic geranium essential oil and organic patchouli. The palmarosa is organic and I wanted to use as many organic ingredients even with the essential oils because I, if you're going to wash your hair you would want to leave this on for like five minutes just so you can get all of those benefits. So you would just let it sit like lather up and then just let it sit on your hair so you can get those benefits in there. And we're gonna give it just one little blend with our stick blender. All right, just so we can make sure all of those essential oils are blended up good in there. Which we've got a nice medium trace here. some of those air bubbles out and we're going to pour this into our five pound mold from Nurture Soap which this is a mold for the bar shape that I use for all of our um, essential oil based or unscented soaps and this just smells so good the geranium is your predominant scent that you're going to get. It's a very high, it's a very top note. Um, then all of the rest of the oils balance out nicely and actually covers up the scent of the neem, which isn't as prevalent when you are, once the bar is hardened, you won't smell the neem. But it even it covers it up here, and that patchouli, which is what it known, is known for, as being a deodorant, helps to get that smell of the neem out too. So you're not just overpowered by the neem when you use this. When you use this one, all right. Make sure we get all that in there. Evened out here, and where'd my spoon go? There it is. We're just gonna do a very small textured design on the top. These are flat bars that will remain flat, and the wrapper goes around the top. So, I don't want to do too much of a texture on these. All right. 
right, so there you go. That is our Takuma avocado neem shampoo bar and we'll be back in about 18 hours and we'll cut it up obviously going to be pretty simple on the inside but we'll see how those colors change if we get any kind of a um, coloration discoloration see what it looks like after 24 hours but we'll be back and we'll check it out all right so it's been um well over 24 hours it's been almost 48 since i made this one i was kind of giving it a little extra time because um, even though it is supposed to be winter, it's been very humid here and um, that can help these soaps to stay a little sticky instead of getting nice and dry, even though I do have a dehumidifier out here. All right, so we'll get this, see if it'll come out nice and clean. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Good job. Still a little sticky, but um, not that bad. It should come out of the mold pretty easily here. Let's get it pop out. There we go. All right, right over there. And then we'll get it on our soap cutter. And this one, the smell of it. It has a top notes of lavender and um, the geranium kind of overpowers the lavender a lot, but the um, lavender does soften it some. And the patchouli and it has a nice like citrus clean scent that's really perfect for a shampoo bar. But we'll go ahead and get this cut up and see. Pretty, it's obviously going to be pretty simple. But I'll give you a nice close up of the color. And it is a very hard bar because we used a lot of um, a heavy coconut oil blend in this one, which makes for a really cleansing bar. All right, so you can see, you can see that nice circle in there. That's it, have gone through a gel phase. And right now, because it is still uncured, you can smell the neem oil. Um, it's really, it's a, it's a definitely a top note, but as it sits, it fades. And because these essential oils are such strong scents themselves, it will fade as well. But it's not completely unpleasant in a soap, in a shampoo, for sure. But that is it. These are our um, shampoo bars for curly hair. We also make another lemongrass shampoo bar that's more just for um, anyone's hair. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe, we appreciate all of our subscribers. And thank you so much for watching. And we hope that you have a very blessed day.